Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Explain, the show where we break down the tech in the gear that you use. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Niche's bioresin. What is it? How does it work? And do you need it? So bioresin is just a more organic and recycled resin that Niche is using in their snowboards for their construction. Now, all snowboards have resin in them as they layer it together. It's the glue that binds everything, right? But bioresin, as I said, is made out of recycled material so that it's a little more environmentally friendly. It's pulling from these waste streams. So you've got recycled paper pulp and biofuel to make this up. It's part of a green initiative to make snowboarding a little more environmentally friendly. And let's be real, snowboarding is not environmentally friendly. Now, some people say this is greenwashing. The way I actually look at it is, this is the start of making a more environmentally friendly snowboard. And when you start something, it's never good. It's never exactly where you want it, but it can progress. And this technology will build on that. So down the road, your snowboard isn't sitting in a landfill 400 years from now, after your fifth generation of child is now fighting for water in the waste wars of the apocalypse. But anyways, that, that doesn't really matter. So what they're doing is they're using this bioresin in their boards, and basically it's part of their environmental story because Niche does have an environmental story to it. And what this actually does is it pulls out of the waste streams and it works. I've ridden a bunch of different environmentally friendly bioresins over the years, and every generation gets a little bit better and a little bit better. This one is better than 10 years ago when Niche started, and you notice that. It's a little bit more durable. It's still not as durable as regular resin. I'm not gonna deny that. It's not as strong in the grand scheme of things. It does not last as long. I will be honest with you on that. But it will last, for most of you, the length of your board. I don't know, if you're running into rocks, it probably won't. So with that said, do you need it? No, but if you're trying to be a little more environmentally friendly and you're trying to do your part, to just lessen your impact on the environment, then yes, you probably need it. Now, some people say it's greenwashing, and I was like, no, it's like green introduction in my opinion, and that's where I keep it with this. I think that there are better epoxies out there. I think that we will see better chemical compositions coming out down the road as well. I think that it works for this board. Now, they claim that it makes the board a little more snappy and lively. I think that to an extent that is true, I don't think their boards are as lively as other ones out there, but a lot of that can come down to the core construction, the additives in there, how the core is milled, the fact that they do use recycled materials in their boards as well. Overall, do you need bioresin in your board? No. Now, are you probably getting bioresin in your board? It depends on who's manufacturing it for you, but there are other manufacturers using it and they're just not marketing it. So. Be aware that you actually are probably riding something or have ridden something with this and you didn't even know it. Did you learn what Niche's bioresin is? Good. There's hope for you because if you didn't, well, who cares? I don't. Anyways, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, do you want to support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and well, I've got to continue to be your host because I'm not going to have five generations of children. Probably sterile. Must be all that Mountain Dew I drank back in the 90s because it was extreme. Anyways, I'll see you in another video.